Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Frontier Regional School, where today the Red Hawks welcome the Tigers from Kingsborough High School for an MIA Division IV Round of 32 soccer game. Starting lineup for Kingsborough. Number two, William Golwitzer. Number six, Logan Walsh. Number eight, Dylan Torado. Number nine, Reese Graham. Number 10, Ryan Morrow. Number 11, Jack Eisenberger. Number 13, Clifford Anim Badu. Number 14, Tyler Murray. Number 15, William Eisenberger. Number 16, Christian Riley. And number 19, Trevor Nogler. Tigers are coached by Adam Boisvert. Starting lineup for your Red Hawks. Number one, Owen Babb. Number two, Max Millett. Number three, Diego Frazier. Number five, Andrew Garoppolo. Number seven, Aiden Valderrama. Number eight, Chan Min Sun. Number nine, Nico Fasulo. Number 10, Chan Hee Sun. Number 11, Jack Storm. Number 14, Max Rajbali. Number 17, Roscoe Palmer. Hawks are coached by Mr. Evan Horton. Hello and welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tyler Wolkowitz. We're coming at you from Frontier Regional Track and Field. It's a beautiful but chilly night here, and we've got uh, the round of 32 in the Division IV States Tournament happening for you tonight. It's the Frontier Redhawks against the Tingsboro Tigers in a boys' soccer matchup. Frontier is the number eight seed in, uh, in this division of the tournament, and uh, Tingsboro is the 25th seed, if I remember right. Yep, sounds it. And uh, Frontier is just coming off of uh, a tough loss uh, against the Hampshire Regional Raiders. They played against them in uh, the Western Mass Finals, and they ended up losing two to one in overtime. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a really great game, tough battle for them. But um, the I was talking to. Uh, one of the defenders on the team, uh, Ben Cachuango. Uh Yeah. I, I had a chemistry with him last year. It was a really fun class. But uh, anyway, what he was saying was uh, they're expecting to meet them again at some point in the tournament, and they're learning from uh, the mistakes that they uh, ran into in that game, uh, which for the most part was just – uh, capitalizing in midfield and you know giving their phenomenal goalie Owen Babb some a little bit of a rest there so it looks like the Tigers are going to be starting with the ball they'll pass it back Palmer immediately putting some pressure on him Already a turn, man. yeah so Sean Min has the ball fighting against him that's Andrew Fahey he passes it back Cross field. Aiden Valderrama almost intercepts it. Did he touch it there? I think he might have, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that'll be a throw for the Tigers. Gotcha. It's a good it's a good uh mascot for Tingsborough. It just kinda like makes sense, you know? Tigers. I mean it's got a good ring to it and everything. Totally, yeah. There's Valderrama. Max Millette passes it up. Tigers get the ball back. Still at midfield though. There's a pass forward to the far side. Oh nice touch. Really good touch. Millette intercepts it, looking to send it forward. There's Chan Min, no, Chan He. And he'll send it up, looking for Nico Fasulo, who heads it down and behind him. Ooh, slipped up a little bit. And that's a throw in. Wow. For the nice. Yeah. That was a close one there. Yeah. Huh. Storm. Sends it into the goalie box, looking for Palmer. Goes right over his head, barely. And Sean He blocks the clear. Finds its way to Valderrama. Valderrama on the far side. Gets pushed out of the goalie box, and it's out of bounds. Goal kick. Yeah. Yeah. Some nice early pressure that the Red Hawks are putting on uh, Nogler. That's the goalie. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
And he's only he's only a sophomore too. Yeah, and they have a junior goalie, correct? Yeah, they have a. Uh, they also. Uh, I'm gonna lose my paper. Uh, Sean Culver is the other uh, goalkeeper that they have on their roster, and he's a, a he's a junior. So, um, I mean, it definitely says a lot about uh, Nogler and his skill. Definitely, you know, some of the Red Hawks might want to be thinking about. Yeah, good point there. I mean, Shirley is no one bad, but yeah. I mean. I mean, the both of the goals that Bab led up in the Hampshire game, in my opinion, they weren't really his fault. One of them was a penalty kick, and that's just kind of 50-50. You know, you can it's a tough thing to do as a goalie. Yeah, it's tough, really tough. And then the other one, it was just this mad scramble in front of the net. Um, Nogler's gonna clear it out there. John he gets the header, but it's cleared out. Diego Frazier fights for it and right sends it downfield. Palmer, ooh. And there's Palmer. I mean, Palmer has been a very uh, physical force on the field all year. And it's been working really well for the Red Hawks where he just puts a lot of pressure on the defense and the goalie. And he he's just, you know, running everywhere. And he has just some incredible stamina to be able to pull that off too. He seems as though he has no fear. He's just running at it when there's, like, very little opportunity. But he makes opportunity. He does, yeah. Right. Now here's a free kick taken by Andrew Garoppolo. Looking at Palmer, he heads it towards the goal and it goes wide left. Good try. Yeah, that, was, that was solid. Yeah, it was a great setup too. I'm trying to think that. Uh, who is he? So that's not helpful. So there's two number 18s out on the field for. Uh, there's two number eights. There's, yeah. Same, same. Interesting. Um. I'm gonna try my best, um, but yeah, the only number 18 that I have written down is uh, Andrew Fahey, who uh, is written in as a defender, uh, but we have someone who looks like they're a forward, who almost stole the ball there. Palmer kind of loses track of the ball there. Sean He races in, and now Fasulo has it. Fasulo works towards the middle, pass up, and it gets by Palmer, scooped up by Nogler. That was, that was an interesting decision there. I don't know if that was the best opportunity to take a goal shot. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was trying to shoot it on goal or try to pass it to Palmer. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. Yeah. Are those both? You said that there were two number eights? I believe so. I might be missing here. Oh, no, you're right. They're right there. Yeah. No, that's six. There's nine. So there, the numbers aren't really formatted in the best way. There are two number 18s, though. Interesting. They're both in the middle of the field right now. One of, one of them, one of them goes down just now. There's a whistle blown on Chan Min. Yeah. So that one running in front of Chan Min right now, that is yeah. definitely 18. Yes. Right. Agreed. And then there's one that he's in the middle of the field, like yeah. dead middle of the field. And I'm pretty sure that, that he's 18 too. We're gonna have to figure this out. Yeah. I'll try to open. Oh no, that's 12. Yeah. That was okay. So that's Gabe Pinto. Who's the forward? And Sean, he he kind of tumbles down. He'll get up. He seems to be fine, though. Yeah. He did have a bit of an injury in the last game, if I remember right, or maybe a couple games ago. So, you know, that's got to be a worry for Coach Horton. Yep. You know, I wish I wish I talked to the uh, opposing coach here because their um, their game footage is currently set up. Right in front of my camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really high up. Yeah, I mean, they could just... Oh, my. Oh, look at that. What an opportunity for the Red Hawks. They've had plenty of them in these first couple minutes of the game. Palmer blocks the clear. Can't do it a second time. And now Pinto can. not She'll get it out of bounds. Good call clearing that. That was smart. Yeah. Play. Sometimes that's really the only thing you can do. Yep. Sean, he comes up with the ball after the throw and makes a move inside, working back. Now he passes it to his little brother. John Mann finds Jack Storm on the near side. Pass up Fasulo, gets by him a little bit. That was Torado who was up against him. Centering pass by Storm. And now Sean, he sends it through the uprights. It's good. <laughs> good goal. We, I mean, we've seen, a, we've seen that happen a lot, and I've said this a couple of times, but there's been 
every once in a while you see it hit one of the uprights. Yeah. Actually, and it's just like, wow. it, it's really funny because it shakes a lot, and you mm. don't really expect it to. It seems very solid, or at least maybe. Totally. I just think of it as a lot more solid than it actually is. Yeah, it looks like it must be, but. Yeah. Huh. But, yeah, it, it definitely looks like, the number 12 definitely looks like a number 18. It, you yeah. can't blame me for that. It's, it's, it's hard to tell from up here, man. It's yeah, it definitely is sometimes. We confuse people around who we are, you know? Yeah, yeah oh, I've done it so many times. Oh, yeah. Here's a pass up from Alette to Palmer. He's on the far side, swarmed, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be a throw in taken by Max Millette, who tosses it back to Aiden Valderrama. Valderrama looking to send it over to Storm. Kind of slips a little, but he gets the pass off to Chan Min. Chan Min can't find anyone to pass it to, and it's cleared out by the Tigers. Millette finds the ball up against Pinto. He works to the far side and clears it out, but it goes out of bounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it was already out by the time it got to Valderrama. That's yeah. why he just handed it over. Agreed. Agreed. Did you used to play soccer, Tyler? I did. For, yeah. Well, yeah, well, barely. Elementary, barely. elementary school, <laughs> I was uh, on Owen's, Owen Babs' team. We went to the same elementary really? school. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, you, I did know that you went to the yeah. same elementary school. We grew up together. I was always in his shadow, as you can see. He's <laughs> starting out here. Are you, are you talking about skill level or, like, physically? Well, we competed on hype. We went back and forth <laughs> on hype, but certainly talent. Mm -hmm. He's a skilled, very skilled player in every sport he touches, and I have a bunch of respect for him and everyone else on this team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They worked very hard to get where they are. Yeah, without a doubt. And now they're trying to advance to the Sweet 16. Look at that touch from Fasulo. That was pretty. Oh, yeah. Max Rajbali pushing it forward. Blocks the clear. Looking to pass it to someone, and that pass is Ooh. blocked. That was a strong pass. That curve was crazy. That must have hurt, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Now there's Chan He fighting for it, cleared out, and Storm's going to let it go out of bounds. <laughs> Raj Bali gets the throw in, and a short pass over to Fasulo. Now Fasulo turns the Jets on, going up the near sideline, keeps it in bounds, and it's cleared out into the Tigers' bench. That was impressive. I mean, he was hugging the edge the entire way, but still kept it. Yeah, I mean, the, it happens a lot in soccer, and Fasulo just knows right. how to play the sidelines so well. Master of the craft. Absolutely. And that ball is going to stay inbounds, goes into the corner. Wow. And now sent out, throw in, going to be taken by the Red Hawks. That's Torado, who is the defender. And Storm with the throw and finds Raj Bali. Raj Bali pass forward to Fasulo. He's got some room. Fakes a wind up for a shot. Now it's intercepted and cleared out. Garoppolo pass up to Chan He. Loses it for a moment. And he blocks the clear, goes down for a moment, gets back up. Chan He, he's got a little bit of room. Works around the defender. Let's, oh. oh. <laughs> he tripped up and still was able to produce something. That was incredible. I mean, I thought he was going to try and pass it back, like cross field, maybe to Fasulo, but tried to pull off the shot himself, and it went into the outside of the net. Yeah, yeah. It's impressive work right there. Mm -hmm. What a... That was quite interesting. The jump kick. Yeah. Time. It was interesting. It was also impressive, too. Certainly. Storm pops it up. Fasulo tries to bring it down, and he will. Can he keep it, though? No, he won't. He'll get sent over to Frazier, but then Frazier sends it back into the defense of the Tigers. Sent up to Pinto. He loses the ball, and Garoppolo clears it. It's just a battle in midfield now. And a pass back to Millette. He works to the middle, finds Chan Min. Almost a handball. Looks like it kind of hit his shoulder. Yeah. Wow. There's it's a clear... And it'll go out of bounds. Absolute power that these guys can produce. It's oh, yeah. Absurd. And just the control of it all, too, because they mm -hmm. can just absolutely send it down the field like that. Yep. But then they can also, like, 
the light touches that they put on the ball to change its trajectory when they're dribbling or even when they're shooting too, it's it's just phenomenal. And they can they can do it in just fractions of a second. Yeah, I mean this is a fast paced sport in many ways. There's like it's rarely timeout. I mean of the of the sports that we cover, there seems to be like the fewest timeouts here. Yeah, definitely. I agree. And I mean like see that's part of the thing that I don't understand. People are like, Oh well I don't like soccer, it's so boring. How is this boring? Fasulo stops non-stop. the ball from going out of bounds. Look at that. Raj Bali needs to come up with it. He will Centered. trying to get it to Palmer. But Palmer will go down. There's no whistle. Some players upset with that. Storm takes a short throw in to Chan Min. Nice move there on Pinto. Chips the pass up and cleared out. Frazier can't get the header right and it goes behind him. Garoppolo will pass it back to Bab. And Bab will tap it over to Millet on the far side of the field. Valderrama. Oh, must have been out. Pinto is going to come out, and Ryan Wall is going to come in for him. Yeah, I mean, this this guy looks built. Yeah. Ryan Wall coming in. I'm definitely excited. We were talking a little bit about him before the game. Here's a little bit of an opportunity, getting by Jack Storm. Jack Hobner. Almost had a shot on goal for the Tigers. Fasulo. Nice. Working the sideline, gets around Torado. Still with the ball, gets to the top of the goal box. Shot blocked by Nogler. Wow. A great save and a beautiful run from Fasulo. That was, yeah, that was top tier. That was good. Wall's going to pass it back. Now here's a pass up for Palmer. Palmer slows it down a little. Pass back Chan He. Chan He, top of the goal box. Works back around the defenders. Short pass to his brother, and it's sent out of bounds. I think that'll be a Red Hawks throw in. Yep. Storm comes up to take it. Chan He, Fasulo. And I think that was meant for either Chan He or uh, Raj Bali. Yep. Frazier takes it up, looking for Palmer. Gets by him, but Palmer can't quite bring it down now. And it's cleared out. Here's number 11, Jack Eisenberger on the far side of the field. He's really gunning it for the ball. Chan Min now. Works it forward, shoved down, Chan He now. Top of the goal box, takes a shot, and again, high and wide. He kind of went down as he took the shot. It'll just be a goal kick, though. Do you know if the people, are they called ball boys, the people who are doing, touching the balls out on the side here? I think so. Line? Yeah, I think that's what they call them. I yeah. mean, I, I don't really know exactly what else they would call them. Yeah. Ball I mean, retrievers. the term ball boy for me at least has kind of like, it, it is more in relation to baseball. Yeah, and I mean... I don't know if that's just me. No, I, I agree. I mean, I, it's definitely a sports term. It can be used in football. Certainly. Sure, and water, yeah. Water boy. Well, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. And I mean, like, we didn't really have that much of a ball boy in football. We had a ball dryer. That was Connor James. <laughs> yes, yes. It was during the rainy games. He'd be holding the ball, saw it swallowed up in a towel. And mm -hmm. he'd just be, mm -hmm. you know, carrying it around all game on the sideline. Oh, and they're going to say that was wow. out of bounds. No, yeah, I think that was a good call. I saw it over yeah. the blue. Is definitely, I mean, definitely around midfield too. Mm. It's the line is very much faded, so it's very tough to make that call. So you, you just got to be confident with it. Frazier sends it downfield, looking for Palmer. Hits the back of a defender, and Palmer can't get to it in time as it's popped up, and I'm blinded by the lights. Mm. He's trying to track it, and I look straight into the hey, floodlights. Careful, lights. careful, man. The, the phrase is copyrighted. <laughs> the weekend's gonna come after you. Oh man, that's a good song. Oh, I can't even say it. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. Just have to be careful. We don't want to get the video brought down. Yeah. All our effort. Yeah. <laughs> we also got a great crowd showing up. I do. For the soccer team. Frontier has uh, three sports in the playoffs right now. Valderrama sends it towards the goal. Oh, wow. It's a little high. Be another goal kick for Nogler. 
But yeah, Frontier has three sports in the playoffs right now. They have uh, this team, boys soccer. They've got uh, field hockey as well. And they also have uh, girls volleyball. Um, girls volleyball is playing tomorrow. It's a home game against uh, Lowell Catholic, I, I remember right. Don't quote me on that, though. Mm -hmm. yep. Not 100% confident on that. But uh, field hockey, I do know who they're playing because I can't go and cover it. Uh, they're playing against Joseph Case. And the reason why I can't cover it is because it's out by Rhode Island. And oh. I'm not going that far <laughs> to cover a game. Well, best of luck to them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Best of luck to both of them. We'll be covering volleyball tomorrow. It's a home game um, here at Frontier. Um, and uh, then, yeah, I think uh, Tuesday is when field hockey is playing, although I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, okay. But, yeah, best of luck to both of them. Uh, we hope that they uh, get another home game uh, later in the week or next week so that we can cover them again, or maybe just a game a little bit closer to home for us. Can we talk about how we've had the possession of the ball for, like, the last minute as we were talking? Oh, yeah. Oh, and there it goes. Yeah. All right. I was trying to keep my eye on it just in case they got a really good opportunity and then we'd have to switch it back, you know? Oh, yeah. No, Fasulo, I mean, the ball just kind of wanders its way right to him. He chips it forward for Palmer. Now Sean Min has it. Fasulo in between the defense. Works it back a little. Sean, he finds it now. And it's kind of cleared out. I say kind of because it wasn't really cleared out. Good attempt. Sean Min sends it forward, gets by the defenders. Palmer can't get to it in time. And the clear is met by Storm. He shoots it forward for Fasulo. Ball goes out and a throw in for the Tigers. Hmm. And we got five subs coming in, three for wow. the Tigers and two for the Red Hawks. Rajbali and Palmer will come off and Larson's gonna come on for the Red Hawks as well as Ian Pachurik. Got it there. <laughs> About the wrong time in the shoe. Right. Yep. Chan Min meets the throw in. Pops it up. Red Ox throw in now. Storm looking for someone to get open. Looking at Larson and now Fasulo on the sideline. That The ball stays, stays in. in. He moves to the inside. Kind of runs into Pachurik a little bit. Now Pachurik fights to keep it in. Fasulo blocks the clear. Pachurik gets the ball again. Thought he was looking to pass it forward to Fasulo. And it looked like there was some kind of miscommunication that happened between them where they sort of almost collided there. Yeah. That was unfortunate. I mean, like, you see it again. Fasulo just working along the sideline just so well. Yeah, I mean, they're integrating their defense very well here. Yeah. Fasulo. Outside, back in, gets checked. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be a penalty kick. That is. Yep. Wow. Outsider. Well, there you go. After a couple of times where the Red Hawks thought that they deserved a penalty kick, they're finally going to get one. And it's going to be taken by Nico Fasulo, who scored many a goal for this team. And very well might put the Red Hawks in the lead right now. Here's the kick, and he scores! What a kick. Fasulo puts the Red Hawks on top about halfway through the first half of this game. Yeah, that, that, was, that was really good. I mean, yeah. Like Frontier goal scored by number nine, Nico Fasulo. There you go. Now you can hear the crowd that we have here. The real we promise. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, this is this is definitely in stark contrast to the last game that the Red Hawks played uh, against uh, Hampshire Regional. Bab was under a lot of pressure for a lot of the game, especially in the second half and overtime. Right. And right now, he's just, you know, you, you could have him reading a magazine back there, and he probably wouldn't he's affect touched, any of the play. He's touched the ball like once, right? Yeah, he's touched yeah. the ball like at the most three times. Fasulo sends it towards the goal again, and it goes wide left. Yeah, I mean, Nogler would have been there to block it, but he just keep sending the ball towards the goal. Not much can go wrong, really. I mean, we, we were talking about this at the beginning of the season, but I thought you'd bring him back. I mean, Wayne Dretzky said, you miss all the shots you don't take. Absolutely. You know, just keep firing at the goal. 
That's a good point. You know, on that note, do you know if we were able to cover any, like, uh, ice hockey games in the winter? I think we, I think we were, yeah, the Greenfield. Yeah, because I know that FCAT in general does, but I don't know if, like, me and you really do. That's the thing. I've covered one once. Yeah. Like two years ago. Oh, and look at this pass. Paturic oh. can't quite handle the ball. He had a bit of an opening right in front of the net. Chan Min. That's unfortunate. Pass over to Chan He. Chan He kind of getting pushed around a little bit. Works forward again. Finds some room. Chan He, top of the goalie box, gets in between defenders, and the ball is taken away from him and cleared out of bounds. He it's was weaving in between them. That was like, wow. It's rare that you see him get a shot off. But that doesn't say anything about how good of a player he is because, oh, and it's going to be a corner kick. Evidently went out of bounds. Oh, no, it's not. Um, they thought it was a corner, but yeah. yeah. Throw and taken by Millette. Sent to the goal box. Cleared out by a header. And Sean Min scores! Oh, my goodness. Look at that! Mason, it sounded like you were saying something. Yeah, we don't what was that? We don't often see. <laughs> no, that was John yeah, Heat. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a wow! That was phenomenal. Beautiful. You could see him winding up for it too, as the ball was heading in his direction. And just like that, we go from a tie game at zero to the Red Hawks leading two to nothing in a matter of about three minutes. Yeah. It, yeah, I mean it's funny. Your goal scored by number eight, Chad Min Sun. That almost played out as, a, as if it was a corner kick. You know, it was one touch and then... Yeah, one, one I mean, two. It, the throne was sent right into the goal box. Tried to, They tried to clear it out with the header, and Chanman was just right there. Oh, yeah. And here he is again, passing the ball up to Fasulo. Now he passes it to Storm, who keeps it in bounds, does a little tightrope act, and he loses it there, thrown for the Tigers. Did you happen to see if their logo was pink? I mean, I'm seeing the pink warm-up jerseys on. Yeah, I really don't know. I think that, I mean, the, the letters and the numbers on their jerseys seem to be some kind of orange. Okay. Ooh, look at this pass from Larson. Valderrama on the far side, sends it towards the goal. The ball's loose. And what a wow. save by Nogler. Wow. A hold of his foot there for a second. Yeah. I mean, also some great awareness by Pachuric to see that the ball came out, try and make a play on it, but just diving stop from Nogler. Pass up a little bit behind Pinto. Sean Min working against him, and he'll pass it over to Storm. Storm sends it forward, and it's headed back in the other direction by the Tigers. Eisenberger up to Pinto. Ooh, a bit of a collision in the air. Right off a of Chinese chest. Wow. Is, there it is again. Storm in Eisenberger's chest. Now Fasulo. Nice little touch. And that, I thought that was going to hit the camera. Yeah. Their recording equipment. They started playing dodgeball for a minute. Bro. Yeah. I mean, like, those were the kind of. See, in this game, those are the kind of fights that uh, Frontier is winning. And that's part of the reason why they're on top. And when they were playing against Hampshire, they weren't winning those fights mm -hmm. at midfield. Right. And that's why they it ended up uh, being a loss for them and they couldn't come out on top. It, at the end of the day, it, has, it comes down to who can win the ball in midfield, thus creating opportunities on offense, you know? Yeah. I mean, I was gonna say, it's whoever scores, Mason. But well, yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but in order to You're score, right. you gotta win the ball at midfield to make those opportunities. Agreed. And I mean, Frontier has been doing that, and part of the reason is because they're doing a great job of exploiting the flaws in uh, uh, Tingsboro's uh, defense. Definitely. Larson sends it far side, Valderrama intercepted out of the air. But a throw in now for Valderrama. He wastes no time trying to get it over to Pachuric. And there he is, far side, works it back. Cross field pass. Can't quite get it to Fasulo. Fasulo almost intercepts the pass. Now Chanmin does. Chanmin's on the near side. He's going to pass it to his brother. 
loses the ball. And now it's taken out and cleared by Logan Walsh. Diego Frazier has it now. Pinto almost intercepts it. Now Walsh up to Pinto. Pinto takes it to the middle. Sends it to the far side and it's a little too far ahead of his teammate, Sean Mullen, and it'll be a throw in taken by Max Millette. And I mean, there's the kind of uh, like play that I was talking about with, th this is the kind of playing that we were seeing from Frontier against Hampshire yeah. with yeah. like the way that Tingsboro is playing on offense, where you end up, s you send the ball downfield and you just have a couple guys there against the whole defense, and you you got to try you try and make some miracle happen. And during the second and during the second half and uh, overtime, that was the main kind of offense that they were putting together. Um, and why there was a change between the first and second half, I'm not entirely sure. Um, Ryan Wall sends it in with a rocket of a kick, but it's cleared out. That throw surpassed all our defenders as well. Yeah. Pachurik fighting for the ball. They lose it. Down goes a defender. He kind of somersaults a little bit. Pass gets by Fasulo. Now he comes up with it. Fasulo works the sideline again. And it's cleared out. Storm can't quite get the header. And the ball sent forward to no one. Max Millet is there for the Red Ox. Eric Larson. Up to Chan Min. Chan Min over to his brother in midfield. Back to wow. Chan Min. Good passing. Look at that, Pachurik. He was looking for Fasulo a little bit too far ahead of him. Wow. Throwing going to be taken by Fasulo. Props to those defenders. That's good. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that was a great effort and some great passes by the Red Hawks to move the ball forward. Larson gets pushed back. That was a big windup for that sneeze too. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you saw me. Trying to like see it on my peripheral. As, yeah. <laughs> wow. Fasulo gets an opening and sends it to the other side of the field. Well, if he was doing the shot put, that would have been really good. <laughs> wow. And now in come a couple subs for um, both teams. I think it was actually. Um, Fasulo comes off as well as Valderrama. Cachuango is going to come on as well as Gus Radner. Oh, that, that is out of bounds. Yep. Cachuango with the throw in. Over to Chan Min. Chan Min trying to get it up to Chan He, but it's intercepted. Can't, not sure why he didn't clear it out earlier. Um, seemed to be setting up for something a little bigger, but it didn't line up. Mm. Tron Min with the ball now for the Red Hawks. Pass back Garoppolo. Garoppolo's going to have to send it over to Frazier. Frazier up to Larson. Ball's taken away from him. Pass up by Walsh. And now on the sideline, near side, Eisenberger. Look at that pass up. Bab going to have to make a save, and he does with a nice assist by Garoppolo. It was a little slow to get up. I think someone might have stepped on his leg or something. That was good coordination by him, though. That was good. Oh, absolutely. It looks like uh, Millette's going to come on the field uh, in anticipation of him being subbed out, uh, Garoppolo being subbed out, that is. Um, and they're going to take a quick break on the field. So we are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tyler Wolkowitz. We've got about 10 minutes left in the first half. Frontier is up two to nothing and here's a pass up to Roscoe Palmer. He deflects the clear and Nogler is going to scoop the ball up. Do you want the gloves or the mittens? Mittens? Probably there you nice. go. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice touch by Chan He. He moves the ball forward, sends it towards the goal, and it goes wide right. 
Great effort. That really covered a lot of ground. Absolutely. I mean, of all the kinds of goals we've seen him score this year, it's been those kinds of goals that have went in the most for him. What happened? Oh, and here out? we go. Yeah, the, yeah. the Tigers are going to take a timeout to see if they can put some together in the last 10 minutes of the first half. Red Ox are up two to nothing in the round of 32 against the Tingsboro Tigers. We will be right back. You are watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tyler Wolkowitz. Andrew Garoppolo is back on the field, which is a good sign for the Red Hawks. Uh, he got injured a few uh, plays ago. Um, and we got about 10 minutes left in the first half. Frontier is up two to nothing. And they're almost perpetually on offense in this game right now. Yeah. Just constantly they're putting pressure on the Tigers goalie, uh, Trevor Nogler. Now Raj Bali intercepts a pass. Trying he now. Trying to work around the defenders and he'll have to pass it back to his brother, Chan Min. Ben Kachuwango on the far side. He moves it forward. Pass up and now that was Larson who was brought down. I think that'll be a free kick for the Red Hawks. Yep. And I imagine they'll take their time setting up with for this because this is some great position to be taking a free kick too. Yeah, this is great. Here's the kick from Garoppolo. Roscoe Palmer. Had a bit of a bad touch, but a great opportunity. Yeah, excellent try there. I think the angle was good. It was just he, I don't know, maybe over it a little bit. Yeah, no, I think, that, yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. what it was in simple terms. Nogler sends it down. Larson gets the header. Palmer works around the defense. Palmer sends it towards the goal. And a nice save from Nogler. <laughs> I, I was so surprised he got the ball. I almost forgot he was shooting on that side. <laughs> oh my gosh. That happened. Kachuwango. Pass up to Larson. Diving pass to Chan Min and now Chan He up against two Tigers and he'll find Gus Ratner on the near side. Throwing for the Red Hawks. Sent out by Jack Eisenberger. And now Jack Storm sends it up to Roscoe Palmer off the throne. He works his way back and the ball's taken from him. Pass up Eisenberger. Eisenberger slows it down. Sends it forward and now that's intercepted by Frazier. He finds it over to Chan Min. Nice fake there. Bodied out of the way, and Ratner intercepts it. Free kick for the Tigers. Yeah, that was, that was a little physical there. Yeah. I would expect to see that. Yeah. Taking the kick is going to be Dylan Torado, one of the captains for the Tigers. He sends it into the box, and Bab will scoop it up after it goes over the head of everyone. It might have tapped someone's head. I think it looked like it slowed down a little. Yeah, I think someone got, a, got something on it. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Can't even tell where it is half the time. It's just going in the atmosphere. Yeah. Oh Bab sends it way downfield. Now Chan Min up to Chan He. Chan He works his way back and it's out of bounds. Throw in, taken by the Red Hawks. Sent in to Palmer. Palmer loses the ball and it's cleared out, but Larson intercepts it. Tigers take it back. Looking for someone to pass to. Raj Bali putting a little pressure on him. Now goes out of bounds into the Red Hawks bench. Jack Storm throwing from the near side. And the ball almost finds its way to Chan Min, but not quite. Now here you go, bit of an opportunity for the Tigers, but it's scooped up by Owen Babb. Yeah, the, the right idea there, but no one to get in the right position. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, the Tigers definitely have had their moments on offense and some good opportunities uh, if they had, like, you know, the right person in the right place, like you just said, or maybe even just one more person that could have gotten down there a little faster. Oh, yeah. Um, but things just haven't really been lining up for them. and. There's a nice clear, kind of intercepted by 
Frazier accidentally. But the Red Hawks will work their way out of that danger zone. Huh. Whistle's blown. As I think that's Sean Min is a little slow to get up. Um, no. I'm not sure if they called a free kick or they're stopping the game to make sure that he's all right. That might have been a referee time up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think you're right. So, yeah, the Red Hawks will get a free kick from the spot where Sean uh, Min went down. Frazier will take it. As we close in on five minutes left in the first half. John He brings the ball down. Pass over to Radner on the near side. Radner works his way to the middle, trying to pass it up to Palmer, but it's intercepted and cleared. Larson finds his way to it. Catch Wongo now. Pass up, Larson. Larson spinning around. Pass back to Catchwango. Gets by him for a second. Garoppolo, Catchwango again. Chan Min. Tigers putting together a lot of pressure up there. Doing a good job of it, but Chan He sends it forward. And subs will come in as the ball goes out of bounds. Four subs for the Tigers. They've been doing some big uh, subbing changes is what I've noticed, Tyler. Yeah, some big loads. Yeah. Well, four minutes now, and I think that the way that they do it is the last two minutes are uh, timed by the refs on the field. Uh, okay. um, I know for the Western Mass Finals, it was the last five minutes for some reason, huh. and I didn't know if they kept that for states or not. Palmer goes down. It looked like he kind of just got tripped up a little bit on the ball or the turf or something. Yeah. Definitely didn't look intentional, but throw in taken by Toronto. Wall. be another throw in taken by Toronto. Dylan Toronto on the near side. Looking for Wall again. And Radner takes it, clears it out, up to Palmer. Roscoe Palmer can't get it past the defense. He has to work his way back a little bit. Pass intercepted. Good defense there. Yeah. Good job working in midfield. Pinto can't keep it in bounds. Now in comes Politis for Ben Hobner. Well, I mean, it's a pretty chilly night, Tyler, but I think our saving grace is that it's not really windy. Yeah. It'd be no. much worse if it was windy. All our papers would go flying. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. That definitely looked like a late reaction. Yeah, he's he's just walking it off now. Yep. But it'll be a free kick from right at the middle of the wow. field. <laughs> 50 on the dot. It's, it's right where they start the game, too. That's pretty funny. All right, 0-0. Zero, zero. Yep. <laughs> now, this would be a fun tactic. For the yeah. The game. Everyone in the goalie box. Taken by Tyler Murray. He sends it into the box. Loose in front of the net for a second. Sent back in. And finally cleared out by the Red Hawks. Tigers still on offense. Garoppolo heads it forward to Rajbali. Max Rajbali sends it up, looking at Palmer, but he can't quite get it to him. Looked like Christian Riley was trying to draw another penalty up there. These fans are louder than the student section. It's yeah. Crazy. It's a pretty a good student section, though. I mean, like, we've definitely seen bigger, but. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Chan Mann can't quite keep a handle on the ball, and it goes out of bounds. Throw in for the Red Hawks, though, can be taken by Radner. He sends it back to Storm. Kind of rolls up his body. He'll keep possession, though. Sends it up to Chan Min. Radner up against Pinto and throw in for Storm. Jack Storm, near side, winds up and sends it into Palmer. Blocked, and Rajbali almost got there. Wow. Flying in. Larson sends it up. He was looking at the goal, but kind of got a bad touch on it. It looked like it goes wide right. 
So yeah, there you go. Just says two minutes on the clock. And it's not changing. And we're just waiting for the whistle from the refs that the first half is over. I wonder why they do that. I'm not sure. I think it has to do with like adding extra time or something. Oh, for like all the timeouts that they call Yeah. Okay. Sean He moving forward fast and the ball's taken away from him, goes out of bounds. Be a Red Hawks throw it. He'll take it himself. Sends it to Larson. Larson works outside. Fakes in, goes back out. Sean He looks at the goal and Nogler with another Ooh. save. Right to him. Center mass. It's a great shot though. Oh yeah. Really pulled it. And now Cachawango lets it go out. Quick throw in up to Raj Bali. Raj Bali gets the ball taken from him, finds its way to Chan Min. Chan Min sends it downfield and across it to Radner. Radner works his way back a little bit, lets his team catch up. Pass forward. Raj Bali can't get to it in time. Ball goes out and Chan Min is going to take the throw in. They're trying to hurry it up a little bit. They're already up two to nothing, but they've got an opportunity to score again. And of course, you know, you want to do that. Palmer can't quite get a handle on the ball. Raj Bali, ooh, just wide. And right at the whistle too. So there you go. There's the end of the first half. Red Hawks are up two to nothing after those two quick goals uh, right in the middle of uh, the first half. Uh, Owen Babb hasn't had to do a lot this game. Um, it's a great thing. Good news. Absolutely. I mean, like, when he does have to do a lot, he always does a great job. And, you know, he just really, he's just absolutely phenomenal when he has to do a lot. But it's better when he does it, and he hasn't had to do a lot this game. And the Red Hawks are looking really strong, but the Tigers are starting to put together a little something on offense, is what we've been seeing in the last couple minutes. So, they're only down by two. They're, you know, game's not over yet. That's the end of the first half. Two to nothing, Red Hawks on top. We'll be back in just a few moments with the second half of this round of 32 game. Frontier Red Hawks against the Tingsboro Tigers. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tyler Wolkowitz. We're coming into the second half of the round of 32 game for boys soccer. It's the Frontier Red Hawks against the Tingsboro Tigers. Red Hawks are up two to nothing right now. Uh, they had uh, two quick goals um, within uh, just a couple minutes of each other uh, around halfway through the first half of the game. And they've been uh, pretty heavy on offense uh, all night but uh, towards the end of the first half, the Tigers were putting together uh, a good effort. And uh, unless my eyes are deceiving me, uh, we've got a testament as to how cold it's starting to get. If you look over to the other side of the field uh, where all the action isn't happening, Owen Babb uh, has uh, a beanie on right now. He does. He, does. he got that during wow. the break, apparently, <laughs> during halftime. But right now the Red Hawks are on offense and it's cleared out by Torado. Sent right back in. Palmer might have an opportunity. Valderrama, his shot is blocked. He just ran right into the goalie box and the ball just dropped right in front of him. That was crazy. Already into something. Yeah. And there you go again. Red Hawks just go right back onto their commanding offense. But yeah, when, when, when there's like a longer break, you, you should get a shot of Owen with that beanie. That's great, man. Of course, of course. He's rocking it too. Valderrama gets the ball, works back. Looking at Raj Bali, his defender goes down. And Raj Bali gets the pass. Raj Bali near side, gets into the corner, and it's out of bounds. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was rolling towards it for a minute there, but. It'll be a throw-in taken by William Eisenberger. There's three Eisenbergers on this team. It's crazy. Oh. And Valderrama gets called on it there. Yeah. Bringing down Sean Mullen. Sounds good. 
So, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it'll be a free kick. This guy's going to boot it. Yeah, there you go. Sent over Valderrama. Misses the header. Didn't quite judge it right, it looked like. And now the Tigers got a chance at offense here. Up against Millette. It's deflected out of bounds by him. Will Eisenberg. Eisenberger, excuse me. He's going to take the throw in. No, he won't. He'll hand it off. It looked like he was winding up for it there for a second. Oh, yeah. Tricks. yeah. Captain Reese Graham is going to take it. Sends it into the goal box. Headed out by Valderrama. Stays in bounds. Malek tries to clear, but it's intercepted. Sent back into the box, and Bab oh. snags it out of the air. Good catch by Beanie Man. <laughs> I think that, I mean, from my perspective, it looked like it was going to go above the box. But, I mean, oh, my God, look at Fasulo pushing through the defense. Sends it forward. Roscoe Palmer on the far side. Backtracks a little. Might have an opportunity. Shot is... Whoo! Oh, yeah, I got you. Looks like we're going to have a corner kick coming up here. Yeah, I mean, that was a great deflection by uh, as Nogler, he's still in goal. Chan He takes the corner, sends it in, headed out. That was a good touch there. Yeah. Good job by Garoppolo. Oof. A little bit to the left. No, that, it's definitely Sorrels. You know what I just saw him doing? Yeah. Touch yeah. that. He's, yeah, it's, that's definitely Mr. Sarles. I'm pretty sure that we have Mr. Sarles at the game here. Yeah, we got a double confirmation there. Yeah, that's very exciting. Palmer gets the header from Chan He, passes it forward to Valderrama on the near side. He works the middle, sends it towards the goal. Ooh. Oh, and Fasulo almost had a wow. second chance. But what a save from Nogler. Good stuff there, wow. Very fast paced. Oh, that's why they have the police over at the elementary school. They've got like a hayride going on. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, that makes a lot more yeah. sense because it's just been sitting there and I've been wondering why. Mm, yeah. That's fun. Free kick for the Tigers. Gonna be taken around midfield. Starting the game yet again. Yeah. <laughs> about it. Five minutes into the game, uh, in the second half, excuse me. Bab coming forward and grabbing it out of the air. Hurls it forward to Nico Fasulo on the far side. Fasulo working against one man right now. He'll pass it forward. Cross the field, Valderrama. Look at this opportunity. Valderrama takes a shot and he scores! What a, wow. That's got to be one of the greatest assists I've seen all year. Such a nice play. Beautiful, beautiful pass, cross field. Here, a goal scored by Fasulo. number seven, Aiden Valderrama. Absolutely beautiful. Sometimes I forget how large the goalie box is. Oh, it was, yeah. It was crazy to see how far along that went up there. Yeah, and I mean, they have like a, a smaller one in a smaller box inside of it, and I'm not entirely... I'm not entirely sure what it's for. I feel like there's some kind of purpose to it. If, but I, if I remember, I think that might be like where nobody else can be. Like, it can finally be the keeper. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Hmm? Nice move there. Pass forward. Ooh. Blocked by Garoppolo. Well, that was Mullen who was fighting for it. It'll be a throw in for the Tigers. For all the viewers, I apologize if the tin work is not the best. I am currently wearing like three inch thick mittens, <laughs> so it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, that's fair enough. Wall takes the throw in, hurls it into the box, and Valderrama intercepts it. Wall finds it again. Shot deflected and cleared out by Garoppolo. Sent back to Chan Min. Chan Min. Pass up to Fasulo, a little bit behind him. He'll have to slow down, but he works back towards the middle. Cross field pass again, but it's intercepted this time. Good stop. Now it's going the other way. 
Mullen was looking to get to it, but he couldn't beat Millette. Now Valderrama trying to get a little fancy. Doesn't work out for him. He goes down on the slide tackle and brings Mullen down with him. I think he just fell right there. Yeah. 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 I think yeah, they see it. Mullen kind of tripped over Valderrama. I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but no, yeah, Valderrama going mess. down it was just him trying to get the ball. Yep. Free kick goes straight into Valderrama's head. Wow. And Sean He works around the defender. Pass forward, looking way downfield, and it's going to be too far ahead for Valderrama. Palmer's still trying for it. Oh, and he can't keep it in. Thrown for the Tigers. There's that effort again with Palmer. He's always racing down the other side. Yeah, field. and it's like, it's amazing how he does it, and it's also very intimidating. Oh yeah. Can they hear? They can hear that from home. The sirens. Yeah. The problem to see this is no emergency. That's yeah, some sort at, of at least to our knowledge. Either it's a really big emergency, which is very unlikely. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just have to hope that it isn't a big emergency because that would be really unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Is it pass forward? Huh. That was a firework. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, Alrighty. We're just gonna stay focused on the soccer game. Look at Owen. Yeah, it is fireworks going off behind us. Mm -hmm. What's the date? November 5th. Right? <laughs> November. <laughs> no, no, November 6th. Is it? No, it is November 5th. Oh. It is November 5th. Remember, remember the 5th of November. November. Is the gun, the gunpowder treason and plot. Yeah, I don't remember the Maybe. whole thing. We have Miss Walters to thank for that. Oh yeah. Watching V for Vendetta in AP World right now. Guy Fox. Yeah. It's a cool story. Oh, Palmer, look at this move. Pass forward, Chan He. Chan He's got an opportunity. Pulls the shot. Oh, and it's saved. Umbrella kick it. Whistle's blown. Is there a handball? I think it might have been. It got kind of shot up at one point. That was quite an effort. I don't know if the defender really needed to go in and kick it. It seemed like yeah. Yeah. Nagler would have, like, grabbed it and secured it. But I don't know why we would be celebrating. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe there's oh. a really a uh, maybe there's a really interesting person uh, living sure. nearby. Yeah, yeah, We'd yeah. love to know about them. Um, very, very much so. Yeah. yeah. Valderrama trying to pass it forward, can't get it off. And now the ball goes out of bounds on the Red Hawks. Thought that was on the Tigers for a minute. Yeah, me too. That was confusing there. All right. Short throwing. They keep it in bounds. Valderrama doesn't think so. Mullen, and that's out on Millette. Throwing forward, sent into the box, and Bab scoops it up. Chucks it downfield, there's Fasulo. And they go right back into their offense. This is what they love to do. He backtracks, trying to get around the defense. Out of bounds. Yeah, a little physical there, but it seemed, seemed fair. Yeah, seemed fair. I mean, he was trying to get to the ball. It wasn't like he really like, smacked anyone or anything. Well, that's part of the game. Some fans clearly don't agree, but yeah. it's all good. Free kick sent down, and now Valderrama sends it out to Palmer. Palmer trying to get to it, running back and forth, and now here comes the Red Hawks offense. Oh. Fasulo sends it forward. <laughs> Nogler kicks it downfield, and there's Wall bringing it down. Storm intercepts the forward pass. Fasulo with it now. Up to Storm. Jack Storm finds Chan He. Ball's kind of knocked around. Tigers come up with it, but it's intercepted by Valderrama. He works his way back, looking to pass it forward, maybe to Palmer, but he's going to find Raj Bali. Gets a little bit of room in the corner. Centering pass. 
and it hits the back of the net. Maybe that was a shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. If it was a shot, he didn't get the quite the right angle on it. That's the thing. It's good effort regardless. Oh, know. definitely. It's going to be a goal kick taken by Nogler. Fasulo intercepts it. Can he keep it? No, but Sean He fights his way for it. And Raj Bali takes it. Palmer now. Spins around, works to the middle. Palmer sends it towards the goal and it goes wide left. Wow. We got Larson and Pachurik warming up on the sideline to sub in soon. And I definitely, I like the strategy that Coach Horton is taking in this game a lot better uh, than what he was doing in the, the Hampshire game. I think I saw a total of like three subs in the Hampshire game. Just, just like same people on the field for the whole game. And it, it showed. They were very tired by the end of it, especially when it went into overtime. But they're trying to uh, keep more of their players uh, fresh and trying to make sure that they're, you know, doing their best on the field and not injuring themselves. Yeah, That's the most important thing. I mean, there's always this, like, little like, debate or conundrum where, like, you want to have the flow and the construct of your team on the field very well, but you don't want them to get tired fast. Yeah. Here's a free kick that's going to be taken by the Red Hawks. I think that's Frazier. Yeah. Frazier will send it into the box. Looking at Palmer. Can't quite get a handle on the ball. Raj Bali deflects it and it's sent up in the air. Can't quite bring it down and it goes out of bounds. Red Hawks throwing. Max Millet is going to take it on the near side. Pretty much in the corner. Looking at Valderrama, he lets it go by him, and now intercepts the ball. Loses it, it's cleared out, Millet has it at the top of the box. Tries to send it over to Rajbali, but it kind of gets by him. Pinto can't get a handle of it, John He steals the ball. John He trying to work it forward, it's taken away from him. Pinto sends it up near side now. Rajbali takes it away. Possession's going back and forth, but now Bab will dance around Pinto. Huh. Miscommunication there. Yeah. And the ball goes out of bounds. Red Hawks throwing. I'm not really sure what happened. That was a very confusing sequence of events for me. Yeah, I mean, from when I used to play Dolly, that was always a situation that I didn't like. like the goalkeeper was really far up from the bots, and the defender didn't know what to do to pass it or not to. And yeah. Issue there. <laughs> Ball gets trapped in the legs of Will Eisenberger, and it's sent downfield. Tron Min passes it back. Garoppolo pressured by Pinto. Now Larson has to pass it back to Millet, but it'll get by him. On the sideline, he keeps it in between Pinto's legs, but Pinto comes up with the ball, makes a nice move, and will try and send it in and loses his shoe. <laughs> wow. Well, you don't see that every day. I think some subs coming in and a throw in on the near side of the field is going to be taken by Ryan Wall. Sends it into the box. Header and Bab with a save. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. That's going to be a great moment for him. That was uh, a similar scenario to how they lost their game in Hampshire uh, last week, a couple days ago. I'm not sure how long ago it was now. But um, making that save, I mean, it's great for this game. They're still up 3 to nothing, But it's also going to feel good for him personally. Tron Min sends it up to Petrurik. Can't quite keep a handle on it. And Fasulo can't get the pass from Tron He. It's looking like Ben Cachuango is going to start warming up on the sideline to come in. 
I'd say for Max Millette. I think that's who he came in for last time. And we got 23 and a half minutes or so left in this game. Red Hawks are still up three to nothing and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Ball's kept in bounds. Great effort there by Graham. But now it's just sent the other way. Fasulo can't get by the defender. I think he uh, took his eyes off the ball too soon. Yeah. And that's going to be a timeout taken uh, by one of the teams. I'm not sure who. Um, but uh, so, yeah, they're going to take a break on the field, and so will we. It's 3 to nothing. Red Hawks on top with 23 minutes left in the game. We're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here with Tyler Wolkowitz. It's three to nothing as we have uh, just under 23 minutes left in this round of 32 game. The Red Ox are on top and they're continuing to put a lot of pressure on the Tigers goalie, uh, Trevor Nogler. Although the Tigers have had uh, a couple opportunities now on offense, almost scoring uh, just a couple minutes ago. Uh, but that was stopped by a great save um, from Owen Babb. Fasulo is going to pass it over to Larson. He can't hold on to the ball after a diving play. Frazier goes down. Yeah, and that's looking like it's a free kick. Yeah, a little bit of bump there. Yeah. You know, I'd say that the refs are doing a pretty good job this game. Um, they're letting the players be physical. Yep. sometimes, but uh, they're calling it uh, every once in a while to kind of keep him in check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. tries to send it back to Chan He, but it gets deflected. Now the Tigers trying to pass it around and clear it out, and they will. Wall gets the pass, and it's intercepted by Larson. Fasulo spins around and sends it up to Pachurik. Can't quite stop it, and it's sent out of bounds. Red Hawks throwing. They have 21 minutes, it's seven minutes-ish per each goal. Certainly, certainly possible for anything to happen. Here. Yeah. It's definitely, the game isn't over yet. That's for sure. Larson gets the pass. Swarms by Tigers, and now it's cleared out. Catch Wongo's back in the game, and Bab is gonna clear it out to midfield. Past midfield. Ball's brought down and met by Fasulo. Fasulo gets by the defense. Now here he goes, top of the goalie box. Nico oh. Fasulo works it back. Might have a shot. Here it is, and he scores! Wow. Surrounded by people. That's crazy. There you go. That's four to nothing. Red Hawks goal number nine, Nico Fasulo. That's his second of the night, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Wow. Great energy. Coming oh yeah. And that was that was pretty much well actually, you know who gets the assist for that, if I remember the play correctly? Owen, oh, right? yeah. Oh. The goalie gets the assist, which is I feel like you don't see that very often. But <laughs> every time, man. Every once in a while, it works. It yeah, really does. Yeah, yeah, it pays off. Yeah, definitely. And also, I mean, like you force them to move fast and get a little anxious. They make mistakes. And then it good, you know, works to your advantage. It's a smart thing to do. Nice pass forward by Chan He. Larson. Pass back to Garoppolo. And he's going to try and find Storm, but it's a little too far ahead of him. Larson wins the battle. Gets pass, goes by uh, Fasulo. Passes it up to Ian Pachurik on the far side. Larson again. Pachurik. Pachurik moving into the box. Pachurik. Oh, just wide. Oh, my God. Could hardly even tell it was miss. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't even see him. Uh, in the goalie box for a second there. Just, there was like so many people right in front of him. Yep, yep. Oh. 
And evidently it wasn't deflected. I was going to say I wouldn't be surprised if it is, but be a goal kick taken by Nogler. And Larson will find the ball. Tron He back over to Larson, but it sends the direction of the Tigers. Pass up. Oh, nice defensive play by Frazier. Wow. Stopping some momentum by Mullen, who's had a great second half, by the way. Sean Mullen doing a lot for Tingsboro. Try and make things happen. Did we do any research on where exactly Tingsboro was? Well, I know it's out east. I think it's a little north of Boston. Max Raj Bali taking it into the goalie box. And Ian Paturik oh. scores. What a wow. Beautiful assist right in front of the goalie. And now it's five to nothing. Commanding lead by the Red Oh yeah. And this is what tends to happen. You have a bit of a lead and you let him keep putting uh, pressure on your goalie, and they just find ways to put it past him. Yeah, I mean, as far as I can tell, the, the playing style doesn't seem to have changed much. You can't really fix anything if like, you're not changing what you're doing. You yeah. Know? Red Hawk goal, number 19. You're talking about Tingsboro, right? Tingsboro, yes. Yeah. I, no, I, I agree. I on their name for a moment. No, um, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a strange, yeah, yeah. strange name for a town, very unique. Um, of course, of course, Massachusetts. Oh, go, yeah. Pachurik putting a lot of pressure there, and Raj Bali intercepts it again. Raj Bali gets by the defense. He's got one man coming in next to him, and it goes out of bounds. Goal kick. Raj Bali and Pachurik doing a great job of just running, like doing the same thing again and again, just putting the pressure on the defense and never giving them any breaks. And I mean, that's why they've scored you know, these past couple goals. Raj Bali again, almost intercepting the ball. Tigers will clear it out, but it's met by a header from Garoppolo. Pachurik, short pass over to Raj Bali on the near side, sent up, middle of the field, and cleared out. Sean Mullen gets the pass off, calls for it back, and it's intercepted by Frazier. Frazier clears it out. And now Tigers work it back in their own direction. Tron Heen has it at midfield. Tron Heen working back and forth, losing a little bit of ground, but Garoppolo, oof, he almost slipped and fell there. Nice pass from Tron Min to Tron Heen. Tron Heen works to the outside. Pass up Pachurik. Pachurik spinning around, and now Tron He gets brought down at the top of the goal box. That's going to be a free kick, I'm pretty sure. This is a great opportunity. Oh, yeah. Can make a wall here, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, you can either, Tron, you can either just shoot it right at the goal, or, I mean, like, he could probably, he could pass it out to, like, far to one of the sides or something like that. I would not want to be in this wall, man. It is cold out here. Yeah. You get hit by a ball from this It's going to sting. That is going to be there for a while. Wow. Wall set up by the Tigers. Here's the kick from Tron He, and it goes wide left. Good attempt, great position. I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. You're up five to nothing with 15 left on the clock. Yeah, nothing too fancy needed there. Yeah. Just a good attempt. Subs coming in for Tingsboro. And I think that's Radner who intercepted the ball. Gus Radner, and now Chan He sends a little bit too far behind his brother. But Chan Min does a good job of stopping the forward progress. You know, if there is a celebration going on in town with like the hayride and everything, I d I'm not really sure what it's for because it's a little late for Halloween. And look at Pachurik, gets a nice assist and sends it just wide. By a couple feet. What a try. <laughs> the, ball, the, the, ball, the ball boy just threw a ball and inter <laughs> intersected by Ratner. Just <laughs> like hit his arm, it looked like, or yeah, his shoulder. Absolutely intercepted. It's funny. Good practice, good practice. 
I love how we're always talking about something right as the most action is happening. Yeah. It's great. Tron Min leaves it off for TJ Donovan. Ben Cachuango is going to have to work back against Pinto a little bit. Now Garoppolo working to the other side. Larson will pass it over to Tavo. Tavo sends it cross field looking for Chan Min, but he can't get to it in time. Cachuango is going to have to meet the clear, heads it forward, and the ball goes out of bounds as it kind of rides up the leg of Donovan. That's Will Redding on the sideline waiting to come in for the Red Hawks. Look at that. Yeah. I, w I wonder why he's coming in now. One of my favorite guys in AP Lang. Oh, for sure. You're, don't worry, you're above him, Tyler. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, yeah in, in like my sorry. ranking of like favorite people to talk to. Right. Here's an opportunity. Radner will score! Oh, the Look at that! My angle, I couldn't even see the goalie there. Wow. That's a bad. It's a bad. <laughs> goal <laughs> number 21, <laughs> Augustus so Radner. Bats. So that makes it six to nothing. Wow. And, I mean, of course, when you're looking at the seed numbers and their regular season record, Red Hawks losing only one game, one game this regular season and coming in with, as the eighth seed in the tournament. And, uh, oh, look at this. Redding, oh, he kind of slips on the turf. Yeah, uh, Will's not used to it yet. Yeah. It's, it's all good. He just came on. You can't really blame him that much. Of course. He did set himself up, though, pretty well with a nice opportunity. There's a pass up meant for him a little bit too far ahead by Chan He. Larson over to Chan He. Trani sends it up. Oh. Looking at Pachurik. Wow. Was there a whistle? Did I hear there was a whistle. Yeah. Oh, he was offsides. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I think, yeah, that's, I think that's a good call. Yeah. He definitely looked a little ahead. But um. anyway, what I was saying was, I mean, you look at their seeding, 25th seed against the 8th seed. You're expecting the 8th seed to win, you know, have a pretty dominant game. But you know, six to nothing is a, is a little, a little much. I feel like, yeah. you know. You never know, though. There's always these upsets. I mean, that always ruins me in college uh, basketball. Oh was, yeah, the March Madness. Oh. Man, tell me about it. God, I always yeah. It's awful. The yeah. team on paper is never matched to what they actually are. Yeah, wasn't there like a, there's an upset like last year where like a number one seed lost to whatever like the bottom seed was? Is it like a the 32nd seed, is that how yep. low they go? I always forget. Yes, and that is one of the most rare occurrences. I believe it's only happened like one or two times before. Yeah, that was crazy, it's man. Crazy. That No, that definitely screwed up my bracket. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that anyone really predicted that. Well, luckily for the Frontier home team here, that's not the case. Yeah, that was the one worry going into this, you know, for me, like looking at who they were playing. And here's a pass to Will Redding. Oh. Donovan might have an opportunity, but it's scooped up by Nogler. Wow. What a beautiful touch by Redding. It's almost like a bicycle kick. That was, that yeah. That was interesting. It was like halfway to a bicycle kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up over his Round head and behind him. Yeah. Donovan's spinning around, but he gets swarmed and it's sent out of bounds. Yeah. There's a lot of playmaking going on in the second half here. And now... Oh, Jack Cusson's going to come on for Owen Babb. And the Beanie Man's going to get a bit, bit of a break in the last 10 minutes of play. Oh no. Finally he gets to breathe. Yeah. Sam Bakari, after his own throwing, will work it back past to Will Redding. And I'm not sure if Redding's cleats aren't the best or if, like, the turf is actually, like, kind of just slippery. I think he's just excited to be out there. Yeah. Know? You know, the show, <laughs> show his colors there. Radner getting pushed back a little bit. Tavo's going to send it forward. Larson over to Radner there on the far side. Cross the field and right into the chest of Nogler. Nice. Yeah, that was good defense. I really liked seeing the goalies head up there. That was good. Yeah. Back to the ball. Redding passes it forward to Bakari. 
Pass back, and there's no one there except for Pinto. Redding steals the ball. Redding works his way back. Look at the movement from Redding. He's going to pass it forward. Oh, can't quite get it to Donovan. I think he held on to it for too long. Yeah. And he steals the ball again. Redding going up the middle of the field. And he'll pass it off to Radner. Radner sends it back over to Larson now. Up to Bakari, Sam Bakari over Donovan. He's got some room on the near side. Chips it over to Pachurik, who brings it down. Pachurik towards the goal. And that'll be a corner, I think. Did Donovan uses the left leg there? Like, that was a I think he is a lefty, curve. actually. He's a lefty. I'm pretty sure. I, 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 that. I don't know for sure. But, I mean, I went to elementary school with him, and something yeah. in my memory is saying that he's left-handed. Gotcha, gotcha. Does that transfer down to the feet, though? That's what I want. I think it does. All right, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I for, know. For, so, for some people, it does. For some people, it doesn't matter. Interesting. Because, right. I mean, I've seen both, I'm pretty sure. Right. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Frazier's going to clear it out. Sort of clear it out. It's around midfield now. Bakari. Sam Bakari gets tripped up. And now Pinto might have a chance here. His pass gets intercepted by Larson. Eric Larson working away from Ryan Wall. And now Bishop will send it out of bounds and it almost hits the recording equipment of the Tigers again. It's like the second or third time we've seen that happen tonight. Yeah, they got a really interesting setup there. They have a super expensive uh, tripod. That's yeah. Seemingly it 10, 12 feet. And then uh, they had a $100 quarter there. So yeah. It is. And I mean, like, it's, I mean, I guess the idea of it is the same thing as our high pod. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the same uh, mechanism. Yeah. Clear is met by Cachuango. He moves it up to midfield. The ball is taken away by Wall. Cachuango runs back and Bishop clears it. Nice teamwork there. Very much so. Radner seals the ball and sends it forward. Yath heading forward. And now Larson takes the ball. Radner pass up to Yath. Sent back. Bakari. Sam Bakari works inside. And looking at Donovan, might be a little bit too hard of a kick. He keeps it inbounds. Right on the line, pass into Bakari. Bakari sends it to the goal. Oh! Wow. That goalie was really confident it was not going in. Yeah, I mean, I it definitely. I mean, I'm sure from his perspective, it was very obvious. But like, yeah. I thought that was at least going to hit the post. Yeah. That's what it looked like. It just curved a little bit too much to the wrong side. Donovan, look at this. Oh! And a desperate pass back almost ends up being an own goal. Yeah, I think you, you might have been right there. I think Donovan might be lefty. He shifted to his left. Wow. It's definitely something you don't see a lot. Yeah, no. It's really interesting. It's definitely must be harder for the defenders. Yeah, you, you know, that's a good point. I hadn't thought about it that way. Yeah, because I, kn I know that's, um, uh, it's, it's different to kick. It's harder to follow the ball. Yeah, I mean, like, I wonder if it is more of a, an advantage for him or more, or if it becomes a sort of advantage for the defenders yeah. for whatever reason. I'm not sure how that would play out. Definitely. I mean, I think at this level it certainly is, but in the pros they must train for it. Yeah, oh, I'm sure. They gotta be versatile, he's both feet. Absolutely. Eric Larson. Midfield, and he passes it over to Bakari. Sent back, and there's Tavo. Tavo, nice pass along the side of Oh, look at that oh. touch from Donovan, oh. right in between his legs. Oh, season's coming. Wow. Uh, where's the ball? It, it's with a ball boy, and no one has claimed the throwing yet, and Donovan will do it now. <laughs> Oh, Just some miscommunication, I guess. I wasn't entirely sure either. So, Tavo sends it over to Larson. Larson to Redding on the opposite side of the field. He's looking to pass it up to Radner. Radner over to Yath, and it's intercepted. 
Sent over to Wall who passes it back. Now kind of a short pass to center field. And Bishop. They can't quite clear it out, the Red Hawks. But now Bishop will get it again. Pass up to Donovan. There's a shot downfield. Chris Penza is there. Sends it up to Gus Radner. Radner can't get around the defender. And Penza will send it down himself. There you go. Redding meets it with his head. And we're just kind of having a bit of a stalemate at midfield, more or less, just kind of back and forth as we close in on the final four minutes yeah, of this feeling, game or so. It's feeling like a pinball machine. Yep. Booze table. One the two. At this point, it's not a question of who's going to win. It's just a question of what the score is going to be. Mm. Radner, far side, has some people to pass to. He'll find, oof, close to finding Yath. It's cleared out. Midfield again. Walls pass intercepted by Will Redding. Passes it up to Kaizik. Kaizik Yath again. Off the deflection. Pass back to Grayson Bishop. And now Tavo. Donovan. TJ Donovan passes it up to Sam Bakari. Sam Bakari on the near side. Working his way into the corner. He's not going to be able to keep it in bounds. Great effort though. Great effort. Yeah. Definitely a lot of great opportunities created by the Red Hawks in the last couple of minutes when they haven't had pretty much any of their starters on the field. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I mean, like, the main thing that that says for me is, you know, plenty of exciting seasons in the future. And Donovan gets another opportunity, and it's deflected out of bounds. It'll be a throw-in for the Red Hawks. Going to be taken by Tavo. Or no, never mind. It's going to be taken by Donovan. Closer to the corner. Sends it to Redding. Outside the box. Redding shoots it toward the goal and it goes wide right. Lost his shin guard in the process too. Interesting. I thought that was his shoe for a moment. That would have been the second lost shoe we've seen today. Mm -hmm. Second lost shoe I've seen all season, actually. So in the same game would be crazy. Yeah. Yath putting some pressure on him along with Bakari. Bakari almost steals it there. Ball sent downfield. Penza intercepts it. Keeps his footing and sends it up to Larson. Radner works it back a little bit. Penza. Chris Penza up to Larson. Larson backtracks. Might be looking for Redding. He is. Redding up to Bakari. Bakari. It's sent out of bounds. Throwing for... Red Hawks. Surprised Redding didn't take a shot there. Now Will Redding again. A little bit of a nice touch there. It was over to Yath. Cleared out. Met by Cachuango. Penta's going to have to send it back the other way, and he does. Over Yath's head. Some good awareness there. Very good. Ball sent over to Cachuango. And now Tavo, near side of the field. And the ball goes out of bounds, thrown for the Tigers. We're in the final two minutes now, although we probably have been for a little bit. At this point, I just noticed it. Ball gets by Tavo and Bishop, and they'll let it go out. Throw in for the Red Hawks. Up to Donovan, nice header. But it's sent downfield. Cachuango calls it and heads it forward over Redding's head. Now Larson fighting for it against Wall. Wall gets some separation, and that'll be a throw-in for the Tigers. Middle of the field now. Far side. And I'm holding my roster upside down, I just realized. Cachuango running in and clearing that out. Eric Larson now, moving it forward for the Red Hawks. Pass up. There's TJ Donovan racing down the field. Slows it down. Short pass over to Bakari. A whistle. Yeah, there is a whistle. Oh, I think he might have been offside. Uh, 
Just looking at the ref, it was the same signal as before, but yeah. Yeah. Intercepted by Larson. Sent forward for the Tigers. Radner's there, pushing against Radner. He still has the ball, keeps it in bounds. He's in the corner now. Radner more or less has possession at this point and clears it out in the face of two Tigers. That was very impressive. Yeah, interesting play choice there. Huh. Yeah, I mean, he didn't really have too many people to pass it to in center field. Yeah, I'm just surprised he didn't just stick it out. And there's your game. The end of the game here from the Frontier Regional School. The final Six score to nothing. the Frontier Regional Red Hawks. Six to Red Tigers Hawks come out on top nothing. against the Tingsboro Tigers. Next game will be against a, a winners of tomorrow's game between Menomoy and Littleton at a time to be determined. It will be here at Frontier. So the next game is going to be a home game. Uh, we're going night, to have to wait to see who is the Tuesday, team they're going to be away. playing against. But the Red Hawks are going to be moving on to the Sweet 16 in this Division IV States tournament. And an absolutely phenomenal game for the Red Hawks. Very commanding, 6 to nothing. Um, they even took Owen Babb out in the last couple of minutes um, and put in uh, their starting JV uh goalie Jack Cusson um, so definitely a lot of confidence from the Red Hawks um, I definitely expect to see that kind of confidence from them in uh, their next game in this tournament and uh, yeah great showing overall from uh, the whole team a lot of great opportunities made for pretty much everyone everyone doing a really great job bringing a lot of energy yeah, I wouldn't really say if there was any like, star of the show there. That was just a solid team effort. I'm excited yeah, to totally. see them go further in this well. Yeah, absolutely. And we're as long as they stay uh, relatively uh, nearby, we're going to try and cover as many of their games as uh, we can. Although, you know, if they're going out to right by Rhode Island, I don't think that they're going to do that. So. Once again, for the last time, score six to nothing. Red Hawks come out on top and move on to the Sweet 16 in the States Tournament Division IV. I've been Mason Smith with Tyler Wolkowitz, all the rest of the FCAT crew. We hope you have a wonderful night. You've been watching Frontier Community Access Network.